that is directed to small and medium enterprises and the youth of Kogi State and bringing them into the inclusive economic and investment program of this state. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, or wow, His Imperial Majesty. It is time now, ladies and gentlemen, to listen to the chief host and the man on whose shoulders the affairs of this state and this great state rests. Alaji Yahaya Belo, His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Lagos State. Please, let's welcome him. For his address of the state. I will make sure we have this handshake and to prove that I'm a son of the soil <laughs> and that this is my governor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is my brother. Um, and he has realized that very soon we shall catch up with Lagos. And possibly surpass Lagos. That is his wish, that is my wish, and that is our wish. Your Excellency, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, S-A-N, G-C-O-N, the Vice President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, your Excellency Alahaji Atiku Bagudu, the Executive Governor of Kebi State. Your Excellency Elder Simon Achuba, the Deputy Governor of Kogi State. Your Excellency, my own brother, Right Honorable Philip Shaibu, the Deputy Governor of Edo State. The Speaker, Kogi State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Prince Kolawale Matthew. My Lord Honorable Justice Nasiru Ajana, C.O.N., the Chief Judge of Kogi State, Honorable Members of National and State House of Assemblies here present and in attendance, the All Progressives Congress APC National and State Executive Council members here present, the Honorable Minister of Solid Minerals Development and former Governor of Equity State, Dr. Kaimi. Kayode, fire me. I want to put them together. <laughs> Honorable Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Professor Stephen Ucheni, the Executive Chairman, Federal Inland Revenue Service, Mr. Babatunde Fowler, here represented, Senior Special Assistant to the President on Economic Management Team, Doc, Mr. Dolapo Bright, the Senior Special Assistant in Job Creation and Power, Mr. Afolabi Imokwede. The Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer, Development Bank of Nigeria, our own, Mr. Tony Okwanachi. The Managing Director, Chief Executive, Nigeria Incentive-Based Risk Share System for Agricultural Lending. Mr. Babajide Aruo Shafe, and other managing directors and heads of various financial institutions and organizations here present. The Chairman Dangote Group of Companies, ably represented by our own. The Honorary Advisor Engineer Joseph Makoju. Members of the Diplomatic Corps. The Secretary to the State Government, Dr. Mrs. Ayoade Folashade Arike. The Chief of Staff to Kogi State Governor, Honorable Edward David Onoja. The Honorable Commissioner for Finance and Economic Development, Lahaji Ashiwaju Idris Ashiru, and all other Honorable Commissioners and State Executive Council members here present. The keynote presenter, Professor Mike Kwanashi. The Algon Chairman and the Administrator of Ijumu Local Government, Alahaji Isa Taufik, and all other local government administrators here present. The heads of security agencies and in attendance, Your Imperial Majesty, and my own brother, 
the Oba Adeye and the Tau Guzi, the Oni of Ife, Kabezi, the Atai Gala, and President Kogi State Council of Chiefs, ably represented here by His Royal Highness Lahaji Bukar Khalid, the Hiaba of Mozum, Your Royal Majesty Lahaji Dr. Ibrahim Ado, CEO and your Hino of Ibrahim and Vice Chairman Kogi State Council of Chiefs. Other Royal Majesties and Highnesses here present, representatives of non-governmental organizations, captains of industries, leaders of organized private sector, and opinion molders. Other stakeholders in the economic sector, participants at this economic and investment summit, other guests, invited guests, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this is a, lead, a red letter day for Kogi State, and I am pres uh, pleasantly excited to welcome each and every one of you to the first ever Kogi State Economic and Investment Summit. I thank His Excellency, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, GCON, Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, for coming here in person. It is a measure of the importance it is a measure of the importance with the administration of His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, GS, GCFR, attaches to the economic renaissance of this great country, Nigeria. That His Excellency, the Vice President, is never too busy to lend his very considerable weight to every attempt by states to reinvent their domestic economy. We celebrate Mr. President, and you, sir, Your Excellency. On assumption of office on January 27, 2016, my government prepared and launched a bold strategy, a new direction blueprint. For the rapid growth and development of the state, our new direction blueprint has five key thematic areas, namely, Sound education at all levels, robust health care system, sustainable job creation and youth engagement, massive infrastructure and utilities, and comprehensive public sector and pensions reform. Why do we have to do this? Your Excellency, 25 years ago, Kogi State was created. And ever since then, it is often referred to as civil service state. Under this administration, we don't want to take that narrative any longer because this is a state that is full of potentials. Our geographical location is a great potential. Natural water body, we have the rivers Niger and Benue. Meeting here in Kogi State, particularly in Lokoja, and moving down to the ocean is a huge potential. Available, vast, and arable land, great potential. The solid mineral, great potential. In fact, I usually refer to Kogi State as the capital, solid mineral capital of Africa. Why do we have to say that? If Nigeria is the largest and the greatest country in Africa, and Kogi State is the capital of solid minerals, we can comfortably refer to Kogi State as the solid mineral capital of Africa. Considering the greatest and the largest finance uh, cement factory we have in Obajana, which is the Dangote cement factory, a Jayakuta Steel Company, Itape Iron Ore, and host of others. 